Canadian authorities say a gunman killed more than a dozen people over a 12-hour rampage in Nova Scotia. It's the worst act of mass murder the country has seen in more than three decades. 51-year-old Gabriel Wartman shot people in several locations across the province, according to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police on Sunday. They also say the investigation is still ongoing. Chief Superintendent Chris Leather said police discovered the killings late Saturday after responding to reports of gunfire. Shots were heard at a house in the small coastal town of Porta Peak, 80 miles north of Halifax. Leather described scenes of chaos. Following multiple 911 calls, Nova Scotia RCMP members responded to a firearms call to a Porta Peak residence in Colchester County. When police arrived at the scene, members located several casualties inside and outside of the home. They did not, however, locate the suspect. This was a very quickly evolving situation and a chaotic scene. Our focus was the safety of the residents in the immediate area. We secured the area and began a search for the suspect. The initial search for the suspect led to multiple sites in the area, including structures that were on fire. The search continued overnight and into the morning. This morning, we actively sought out the suspect through multiple communities throughout Nova Scotia. The search for the suspect ended this morning when the suspect was located, and I can confirm that he is deceased. I can also confirm that the matter has now been referred to CERT. I can tell you that in excess of 10 people have been killed, but uh, the investigation is still ongoing, and I expect to have more details in that regard uh, in the coming days. Thank you very much. Can you please... We're not fully aware of what that total may be because uh, as we're standing here, the investigation continues into areas that we've not yet uh, explored across the province. Today is a devastating day for Nova Scotia, and it will remain etched in the minds of many for years to come. What has unfolded overnight and into this morning is incomprehensible, and many families are experiencing the loss of a loved one. That includes our own RCMP family. It's with tremendous sadness that I share with you that we have lost Constable Heidi Stevenson, a 23-year veteran of the force who was killed this morning while responding to an active shooter incident. Heidi answered the call of duty and lost her life while protecting those she served. This tragic incident has also resulted in many victims outside of the RCMP. Countless families are in mourning today. Each person who lost their family and friend, and they too will need their support. The impact of this incident will extend from one end of the province to the other. As Nova Scotians, we have to do what we're known for and come together in times of need and support each other. At one point, police traded gunfire with Wartman, but did not confirm a report by Canada's CTV network that said the RCMP shot him. Wartman seems to have run a denture clinic. However, Leather added at one stage the gunman appeared to wear part of a police uniform and had also painstakingly disguised his car to look like a police cruiser. Heidi Stevenson, one of the victims of the attack, was one of the RCMP's own officers, a 23-year veteran of the service who died responding to the incident. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau extended his condolences in a press conference on Sunday. Before we get started, I want to touch briefly on the unfolding events in Porta Peak, Nova Scotia. I know we've all been watching this on the news. My hearts go out to everyone affected in what is a terrible situation. I want to thank the police for their hard work and people for cooperating with authorities. The violence is the worst of its kind in Canada since 1989, when a gunman killed 15 women in Montreal. Mass shootings are relatively rare in the country, which has tighter gun control laws than the United States.